Do I have to be super formal for that guy? I don't think so. Yeah, I can just, uh, you know, whatever. Let's be saying for well, let's uh, let's make a quick uh, implosion potential guide. All right, boys. Implosion potential. That's the the talents. Yeah, you're gonna play this in keys. Uh, conduits all the same. Born, stalkers, and talents all. Items. So I have my unity here. Obviously, everybody's gonna have a different. Uh, this one you can only build on belt, gloves and helm, so these two are tier slots and potentially tier slot plus uh, unity, depends on you know how, how you guys did it, so I have it on belt. Stats, yeah, stats, usually I say it's not important, but for that build, comparing it from my very first video that I did on Mist, I had bad stats on that one, it kind of reflected my damage as well, so a lot lower on haste, higher crit, higher mastery, the, like stat weight and sim, was definitely suggesting that they need to go higher crit, so that trinket, changing, if you have a changing, put it to crit. I think it pays off long term. I can probably show a cap like a little bit here for you guys to see. So that's how, that's what the crit is gonna look like. Yeah, 40% crit for Tyrant, obviously, Ruby as well, but implosion 30% as well. It's pretty high. It, you know, it goes up there in numbers. Like, look at that. The melee hits as well. Like, it, it's going up, yeah. It's affecting the overall damage output of the build, I think. Having a little higher crit. Mastery important, obviously, for the pets. Like, the, you can see that shit is kind of high. Do we have any other shit that we tried? Let's see, actually, I didn't check that key. Let's see. 28, uh, you know. Not much to, to do. And that key is kind of, you know, weapons. It's moving fast. Spires? Oh, I only checked Spires, I think. Anyway, you get the point. Put lower haste basically than the normal build that you're playing in right yeah normal build you usually have around 25 to 30 percent haste more mastery and like 20 to 12 to 30 percent crit but here just put a little more base crit i think it's good for the build all right with that out of the way how are you gonna play the build itself so the rotation is exactly same how are you setting up the time yeah let's say okay one thing to mention the first pull of every dungeon is going to be your card, so don't sweat it. Like, you do a little less damage than, you know, your hunters, warriors, you know, of those dec first decays. And fire, like, fire mages, like, I can show you this one. That was funny, bro. Like, yeah, look at that. That was first pull of Necrotic Quake. Like, we did no damage, but by the end, you catch up. So, don't sweat it. Like, that shouldn't disrupt anyone. So, you do this, you start a key. You can demo bot, you can do shadow bot, doesn't matter. So, normal Tyrant setup, you send a trinket early, back to 5, double hand, you can do it 6 simp as well, you don't have to do that many imps. First GCD after Tyrant, implode. Important because we get the haste and the Tyrant, look at them swing now. Yeah, you see, it starts to swing. It takes a second to update, so you have to do it right away. But yeah, that's the build. And buff is out, Tyrant is out, now we're going to implode in a moment, that was bad. But you do hand and you get the haste. Now you just keep going, yeah. Now, when you have so much haste, I think it's kind of worth to do double hands, yeah, because look how quick you go up. You're saving GCDs on the long term. Because if you just do this, now you have to shadow both, you know, you're just losing haste in the build. That's pretty much it, it's not that complicated. Single target, probably, it's a little more important now. Uh, Something to mention. So you have a pack like this, looking like this, yeah? You can set focus to this target and you can implode that target so you can get max value on the haste. Because if you implode the right target, like this, and this dies, it's gonna give you less haste. It's gonna clip less mobs with implosion and this will refresh, yeah? It will count as a new instance and it's gonna go off to 12 seconds, but 12% haste, for example, if it's three targets and then you clip two targets and it's gonna suck big time. Okay, we don't have two targets here, but whatever. Now, the single target, which I think most people are probably curious about how to do a lot of damage, because this build, from the get-go, it's not very impressive from pure single target, so your, for example, I think Spars is the best example of that, yeah? Last platform. Absolutely terrible. This boss, and this here, it's terrible. Obviously, we, wait, where is that key? 
We did decent damage, yeah, but we got PI'd as well. So doing damage here, you can get away like with other builds like Grim Inquisitor or Wilfred. And obviously, if you have the teleport dungeon, what you can do, you're done with that part, you TP out with the teleport outside of the key. You for example put Doggo or Wilfred's, I think will be probably the best for this area here. Because you can get multiple turns going. And it's good for the last boss as well. Now, uh, just actually before going, going to the single target build, I want to explain a few things. I, like previously, until last week, I definitely felt like that build is a little worse here yeah, in those uh, couple of keys, like two piece, spires, and uh, streets. Like you can do a lot of overall, but then when you get to some of the important parts of the key, like for example, here, bosses are deadly. Like this boss is deadly. This boss is very difficult to both set up and do damage on. So yeah, Grim was better and even the Shaxxon was doing pretty well on that key to be honest with you guys. Wolfritz is also fine. Now, uh, thing to mention. So obviously you can do a lot of overall if you're doing this route. IP is perfect in this route. If you're playing this route, kind of bad. few things that you can kind of do to min max, you know, a little bit, yeah? It's why I'm explaining now the single target rotation. On bosses, these three guys, you want, walking from here to here, moving from that to that, you want to have a dog proc. Not always, but it's advisable, yeah? And at least six, seven, ten, however many you can build by the, you know, whenever the mob is dying. You're building. As you're pulling the boss, you do dogs, you can pull with dogs if your tank doesn't mind, but it's probably better if you're pulling to wait for the tank to pull, but you try to let him know that you want to do it quickly, yeah? You send the dogs, let's build a couple of guns. Can we imagine that this is the boss? I mean, this is a good situation to imagine that this is the boss, yeah? Let's build some of Okay, we got the proc, okay, we're just gonna get teams now. For example, it's dying now, we do this now. We're moving out of combat, for example, and we're pulling the boss, yeah? Dog. Turn. You see, obviously, we're in combat, that's why you're seeing expand, but that's what you do. It's the same. You want to clip the relics, yeah? You want to clip the relics right away at the start. So that, that's very important. If people in your key are willing enough to not touch them at the start, that's great for you. If not, you know, kind of sucks, not gonna lie. It's a lot less damage because you're not getting max crit and max, max case for the turn, but it's still worth to implode on two targets, so you can, obviously, if you see that stuff is dying, you're gonna tyrant, wait for the earth to spawn, and then you go implode, and you send the tyrant onto the boss, and when the tyrant is done, you're gonna switch to the earth, for example, because it's her always, basically. You switch to her and you implode as well, because it's gonna be lower target to higher target, you're gonna do max damage on the boss with the whatever third teams that you have. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's not too complicated. There are obviously some min-max things that you can do, but the build is especially strong. Like in, obviously, we played Dash Week. We're not going to do 60 million damage, yeah? But it's going to do like 27, 26k overall. And it's going to do a lot more on single target, for example. This one, we kind of had the adds, so you know, I don't think it counts. But this boss, for example, if you're Demo, with adds on top, you will do like 25 Average maybe, 25k. It's extremely strong, strong whenever you pull ads on top of bosses, this build. So, Hakar, I have a key from earlier today where I did Hakar, I did like almost 20k average. I did like 3 million damage on the boss. So yeah. Like with this, we actually obviously did similar damage, but Dimu does like insane damage on some of those where there are ads on top of boss. This one, Dimu is also very good and it's important to have boss damage on that especially. Muzawa, eh, you know, whatever. I don't know what happened here. I did a lot of damage. No, no clue. I guess Kill's boss is doing damage, Kappa. But yeah, it's pretty much it, guys. I don't know if you can show maybe boss damage here. Like, that's first boss of TOP. As you can see, a lot of boss damage. A lot of boss damage. It's three targets, you're gaining value. Here, a lot of boss damage. Same story. Look at that. Look at that. And we're doing du duos as well here. You're always gonna do insane boss damage, yeah? And your tank as well. Anyway, guys, 
that's pretty much it from you know for that build i hope it helps i hope you guys are pumping with the key i myself am enjoying the legendary as a lot and keep in mind right now we don't really have like a best legendary just as a you know takeaway note these are both equally good like you can the ceiling on that one is a lot higher this one if you're newer to playing warlock and demo especially this one is very easy to like get into build build stacks send the dogs do your mechanics you know move and stuff so you don't die in the key it's important not to die you know that dps as scrap is saying that dps is zero dps so just stay alive and this helps a lot you send the dogs you turn it dogs are doing damage you don't have to maintain that like you don't have to micromanage it this one currently i'm a little bit disappointed but i think it has to do with or being meta not the haze guy on ptr with haze guy when everyone was killing the haze guy this was performing insane and this was a lot weaker so they basically vert places because of the uh, automa that's meta unfortunately but that's very fun like i'm loving this legendary it's absolutely amazing it's there there is no place that like, like that one so i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you in the next one or on stream uh, you know i'm streaming it right now so feel free to copy and say hi ask questions you know anything i i'll see you in the next one